Good morning everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Leaf Classes. I am Anjali. Children long time. I was missing you and I think you were also missing me. So today we are going to start our revision series for 2023 board examinations for computer application subject. And children I suppose your pre-boards are over and you are doing your preparation in the best way and you have seen your mistakes, what errors you committed in your pre-boards and other revision exams, right? So today we are going to do part one of this series. Children, in this series, for each video, we will be doing 10 MCQs and five question answers that will be in question number two for section A. So each part of this series will have total 15 questions. 10 MCQs and 5 short question answers as expected in your board examinations as per the specimen question paper. So today I am starting with the easiest one. Children, I have taken few easy questions for this part 1 and we will be covering the entire syllabus for section A in this series, right? And since as all of you know, I go very slow. So it's my request to all of you to watch this video at 1.5 speed and definitely the question answers which you know before i tell you the answers you should be ready with your answers and just match your answers with mine and all the best for your preparation let's begin so we start with the first question in question number one of your board examination total 20 questions 20 parts will be there and that will be mcq so we start with our first question the way of combining both data and functions that operate on that data under a single unit is termed as and the options are abstraction encapsulation inheritance and polymorphism children these four are principles of object oriented programming language all of you know that and i suppose all of you know the definitions also of these so here one definition is given and you have to tell which object oriented programming principle is this. Children sometimes the definition will be as what you have prepared or sometimes the language of the definition can be changed. So the way of combining both data and functions what it is yes you are right. So the way of combining data and functions or the wrapping up of data and functions into a single unit that single unit is known as class and this principle is termed as encapsulation and i think your answer is already correct right children and we move on to the next question the dash is an object maker or object factory all of you know the definition of class class is known as object factory right once the class is created, we can create as many objects as we want. So that is why it is also known as object factory. The correct answer is class. We move on to the next one. It refers to the act of representing essential features without including the background details or its explanation. Only the essential features, what you require that are presented and rest everything is hidden. And that feature is? right abstraction right i think all of you are also telling the right answers a class is a dash of similar objects what blueprint right so class is a blueprint of the objects class is object factory the class definition you have done in many ways so prepare all that helpful for examination the next question is an identifiable entity with some characteristics and behavior. Identifiable entity means an entity which has some identity of its own. Anything, this pen, this mic, speaker, everything has got some identity. The color, the weight, the shape, the size and that entity is termed as object right children next is the java concept that is implemented through superclass and subclass superclass and subclass these two terms you have done in biology also and in which topic inheritance 
इनहेरिटेंस द कॉन्सेप्ट इज यूज इन जावा वेयर वन क्लास एक्वायर्स द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ अदर क्लास ऑफ इट्स पेरेंट क्लास ऑफ इट्स बेस क्लास of its super class right and that is inheritance children one question definitely will be there in your exams from the principles of object oriented concepts and you have to prepare abstraction encapsulation inheritance and polymorphisms properly don't get confused and give the correct answers in your exams the next is in an object oriented programming the importance is given to what yes this is the era of object oriented programming and now these days you notice that everything the importance is given to data security so in object oriented programming the importance is given to data right children next question is c++ is an object oriented programming language true or false correct c++ is also object oriented programming language but if children in place of c++ it is mentioned c c is not object oriented programming language c++ is object oriented programming language so don't get confused right the next is the java language was initially called what oak c c++ or python i know most of you know this answer the correct answer is oak what is oak it is a name of a tree which was there in front of james gosling's office yes he is the creator he is the developer for java language and he named this language because many trees oak trees were there in front of his office so he named this language on the name of the trees only and later on the language name was changed to java and we move on to the 10th question jvm stands for java visual machine java visual management java virtual machine or java virtual management children if you notice here the first word is java that is for j the second is starting with v in all four options third is starting with m in all four options so please go through all the options correctly children please utilize your reading time right reading time in reading the question properly going through each and every option properly so the correct answer for this is java virtual machine that is also known as java interpreter right the question can be asked what is java interpreter or java virtual machine is also termed as java interpreter right now we move on to question number 2 name the principles of object oriented programming the four principles of object oriented programming are encapsulation inheritance data abstraction and polymorphism children here i would suggest you that you don't write class and object when the principles of object oriented is asked please avoid writing this when the question says write the elements name the elements then obviously along with these four you can write class and objects but not as the principle these four are the principles right so prepare this this video this part of the series i have prepared only for uh, these basically concepts only object oriented programming concepts and from next video we will be doing the mix up of uh, all the chapters for section a preparation as you have already prepared already appeared for your pre boards and you don't require the practice chapter wise only this was the beginning of the series so i took this chapter otherwise we will be doing the mix up right children the next question define byte code children this is also very important and the answer all of you know if you have any doubt you can note it down you can take the screenshot byte code can be defined as an intermediate code generated by the compiler after the compilation of the source code of java program children java is a language which uses both compiler as well as interpreter and after compilation the code which we get before interpretation right 
So after compilation, the code which we get is termed as bytecode and it is in binary form only, right? The question can be, what is the form of binary code? So answer will be, it is in binary form. The next question, give the features of Java. Major features of Java are, it is simple, object-oriented, platform-independent, portable, robust, secure, and multi-threaded. Children, this question can be covered in MCQ also. All these, any of these features can be given, say, multi-threaded, secure, robust. And you may say that robust is not the feature of Java. Please note down that these are the features of Java, whether you get the question in MCQ or like this in question number two, right? The next question, name two types of Java programs. All of you know this answer also. The two types of Java programs are Java standalone applications and Java applets. The programs which you write in your lab or at home, these are the programs that are written for standalone computers, standalone applications. And the programs which are used for uh, writing web pages or which can be shared on internet are Java applets, right? We move on to the next question. Define source code. Source code refers to the program written by the programmer by using any high-level language. So the program which you write in BlueJ or in JTQ or in any other platform in Java language, that is the source code. Source code means the programmer is writing that, right? The programmer is writing the program for in the given task. That is the source code, which is given to the compiler for further translation, right? So children, for today, this much only, we have done these 15 questions and I suppose all of you are knowing this. And since it is a revision series, so I will be taking all the questions, all the chapters for revision of section A and definitely I have thought something for section B also. Very soon I am going to tell you. If you haven't subscribed the channel till now, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get the notifications for all the videos and no important topic is missed by you. You may join us on our Telegram channel also. The link is there in the description box. Keep practicing, keep working hard. God bless you children.